What's up everybody, NZ War God here. Just another attacking tip. At the moment I have two artillery. One and two. They are on auto attack, so anything that pops out of his base, if he pulls out an artillery to attack one of mine, they will automatically automatically attack. Um, I will use my two main artillery to attack as a base. He has only a 15 mil power, but this is just for attacking purposes. Might as well use the enemy for some good use, because at the moment, um, yeah, they're getting a bit of a hammering. I'll use my super heavy as a sponge to take the hits, while my two main artillery does the damage to his to his base. If for some reason that my other two artillery up here does not attack his units that come out, well then I can always, as I've had these separate in my squad, I have the two artillery and the super heavy separate with the other two separate as well. So. Let's give this a go. So if he does pop out, I do have that option of using my main artillery to attack him. Shall we? Let's let, let's bring this one in closer and auto attack. Just to make sure that if he does pop out, that those two do attack. Alright, let's give this a go. It's sponging at the moment, my two artillery are thin. You guys obviously not online. My Max Percy is using within two grid spaces. The firepower has been her perk is working pretty good. He's obviously not online, so we use a this to attack and hopefully there we go all four units are, are being used as used in auto attack so works out pretty good I'll send my super heavy home because I really don't need to sponge that I'll use my two main artillery to attack those ones and I'll send these ones home because they're out of reach the super heavy can't attack my my artillery so if I wanted to to speed this up but this is just for tutorial purposes hopefully this helps a lot of people makes things um, a bit easier this way this is good to attack in a base and also you know to help you defend yourself while attacking all right until the next tip laters